from Southwest Florida's Morning News Source. This is Fox 4 News Rising. Thanks a lot, Sabrina. I'm here with Wayne Bradshaw from RAP Defense, and today we're talking about what if you get attacked with a knife? You hope it never happens, but it's a very scary situation. You need to know what to do. You certainly do. By the way, RAP Defense means women's rape and assault prevention. People ask me that all the time. I figured I'd pass that on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a knife situation is a very common thing because a knife is a very dangerous weapon. It's very easy for a person to come across. You know, guns one thing, a knife is different. It's terrifying and it scares the person involved. And men and women, of course, are attacked differently with a knife. If it right. was me, I, it's a whole different game. But with you, the, the attacker probably wants to move you somewhere, so they're going to hold it in a threatening manner and then try to take you somewhere. And uh, one of the ways they do is they'll hold it right up to your throat, and then it starts from there, which is real scary. you got the carotid artery there and everything. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad he picked a very smooth, uh, <laughs> worn-down butter knife instead of a real kitchen knife. Oh, yeah. But we're going to pretend this is, you know, a real situation. So you come at me, you attack me. Yeah, so I'm holding a knife right up by your carotid artery. This is really bad, right? If I cut that, you're going <laughs> to die, so the stakes are really high. Yeah. So you're going to hold your hands up and it, like you're scared to death, which is going to be easy to me, do. Don't touch me, Wayne! Exactly. <laughs> So what you want to do is swing your body, the hand this way. Now your other hand grabs my wrist. Now you can kick me, boom, right, right in the there. knee. Or like or right, come right in there. Here. Yeah. The thing is, it's all your body. When you swing your body with your hips, it's all your body weight against my wrist. And that's what gives you the chance to get away. Right. Get away. Bam. Now, the natural reaction, like you had me have my hands up. Yeah. But if I'm here, I'm thinking, i got to grab this guy's fist and push it here. So now, that, why is this a bad move? That is the natural, and that is exactly the first reaction a person has. But what happens is you're actually pushing a knife into your own throat. So your natural reaction is the worst reaction you could have. What right. you want to do, Amy, is swing your body into my wrist. So you're using all the weight of your body right. against just the wrist of my hand. And then add the extra hand. Add strength. the extra hand to protect now. Now you can kick me and you can stop and then you can get away. If you hit, kick me in the knee, you break my knee, you're going to be able to get away. Or if you kick me in the groin, boom, I'm going to fall down, you can get away. This is your only hope. You really have one shot. He's holding it right up by your throat. Right. But you, the, the important point here is that when you swing your hips and you use your hands like this, you're using all the weight of your body against just the wrist of my hand, and that's going to be the winner for you. If you just grab with one hand like you did before, you see now you push the knife in and it's and a tug of war and you're going to lose. I'm a goner. You're a goner. But if you swing your and hips wait. into it and push it away, boom. Remember, he's got the knife. All he's concentrating is a knife. The knife is the important thing in his mind. So for that split second, when your hands are on my wrist over here, you're going to have time to, to kick him. To distract yeah. and kick. Boom, yeah. And the knees are actually one of the weaker joints that you've taught us in any situation. Kick the knees, kick the groin. That's where you're going to get that second to split there's, and run. There's no question about it. If you kick him in the knee, you're going to damage the tendons in there. You're going to the very worst thing you have. You're going to stun him really, really bad where he can't right. move, and then you can get away. First thing is not get cut. Second thing, get away. And a lot of people think, well, I shouldn't fight back. I'm going to die if I fight back. But the statistics show differently. They absolutely do show differently. And if he moves you to a different location with this knife, you don't even want to think about what's going to happen. The best time to do this is immediately when it, when it occurs upon you. And you can even ask him a question. If he formulates an answer in his mind, that's going to give you a little lag time to attack his hand. So you want to use everything available to him and then get out of it. All very good tips. And Wayne is a former police officer. He offers self-defense classes for groups, or he has a set of DVDs that are available. If you want more information, rapdefense.com, 989-8971. Wayne, thanks so much. We'll see you back in the okay, 8 o'clock hour. Okay, thank you. And we now know a guy who can make just about anything scientific a lot of fun. We're going to meet him and show him how you can help your struggling students when we get back. from Southwest Florida's Morning News Source. This is Fox 4 News Rising. Good morning, welcome back. Well, we are with self-defense expert Wayne Bradshaw, a former police officer. He's with RAP Defense. And today we're learning to defend ourselves against an attack by a knife. Should it ever happen, we always hope these things don't happen, but we need to be prepared. Absolutely. And the difference, again, we talk about women's self-defense is different than men's. A man attacks a per another man with a knife differently. But a man against a woman, he really wants to move you to another location or get you to do something. So in order to do that, he gets up real close and he places the knife, knife in a very threatening situation right into your throat. Now, the yeah. carotid artery is right there. I'm glad there. this is a very safe butter knife, just so you know. We always practice, never practice with a live blade. <laughs> no. Okay. So, so the guy will, generally he'll hold a knife right up to your throat, then he's going to tell you what he's going to do next. 
That's, and you're gonna put your hands up. You're gonna, you don't have to pretend to be scared now. So, I am scared, you oh, got a knife to my throat. Exactly, you are. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna swing all your body weight into my wrist and knock the knife away, grab it with the other hand on my, now, okay. you, now you've got just enough time to kick my knee. Wham. Wham, just like that. Or you can bring your knee up inside to my groin area, either way, and then you can get out. The important thing is get the knife away and get and run. out. And that's your chance. You're looking for that one or two seconds that you can escape. Yeah, and if you ask the guy a question, it doesn't matter what the question is. He starts formulating a thought process in his mind. Like, are that, you going to kill me? That's a, that's a good question. He has to think the answer to that, even if it's for a split second. That creates a lag time. And as soon as you, as soon as you ask the question, you go into the attack. That's going to give you a little more time to execute the move. Now, as you come in this way, mm -hmm. I probably am not going to have my hands up here. No, you'll have them lower. I'm going right? to have them lower. Shouldn't I just, like, what? Couldn't I do that? See, if you did that, you'd knock the knife right into your own throat. So you don't want to get involved in, like, a grabbing contest. What you want to do is, even if I hold the knife this way, you want to swing against... This hand. Right. Push all your weight against just my wrist. You that, see how you turn me there? And then kick. Then you can do or the Or go behind for the knee. Yeah. You want to use all your body weight against my wrist. That's how you have a chance to survive. It's not because you're going to use some great martial arts expertise. The best martial arts people get cut when they practice with a knife. The important thing is you want to shock and surprise them, and you shock and surprise them by, first by getting a knife out of the way, then attacking a vulnerable area, and then getting away. That's how you survive this. Which is very key, and a lot of women are probably afraid to sometime attack because I'm very small in stature compared to you. Right. So you obviously have more power, but you actually are better off to attack. You actually survive Yeah, because you're, you're, you're very vulnerable looking to me, and I feel very s strong and solid right. when I'm doing this. So I'm not really expecting this to happen. I'm expecting you just to be terrified and give in. So when you suddenly and unexpectedly, ruthlessly attack me, you've got, it, you've got a very solid chance of survival. And it's, you, you gotta hit hard and quick and then get out. But you have a chance. You don't have to go like a lamb to the slaughter. If you decide the person's really gonna hurt you or do something horrible to you, you can survive this, but you've got, you've gotta use your body weight against the small area of his. Okay, let's show that one more time. Yeah, so you're gonna so swing, right so you're here. gonna push this way. I'm yeah. gonna push from this way so I get my body weight, yep, grab there. Yep. Whoosh, bam, just like bam. that. And so then the, take off. And the knife is safe, it's over here, you kick my knee and you go. You got a and shot to make it. And RAP Defense, of course, stands for Protecting Women. Yeah, Women's Rape and Assault Prevention is the acronym. And Wayne has DVDs available. He also does self-defense classes. If you'd like more information, RAPDefense.com or 239-989-8971. Wayne, thanks so much for stopping by. Hey, thank you. It's my pleasure.